can't believe that Lester and Sammy would go bring in another animal when they're trying to rehome the ones they have now. Peepat. Sweet Peepat. Jamie's colleague, a friend that she works with, needs a favor. We're doing her friend a favor. Not to worry, Peepat. We'll take care of the animals. That's what we do. You just enjoy the video. We love you, Peepat. Just watch the video. I am out early this morning on, I wouldn't call it a rescue, but more of a rehome. I'm going to meet a fella at this Taco Cabana. I don't know why we're meeting at Taco Cabana. Uh, and pick up a cat. Yes, a cat, you heard me right. I'm not really one to be I don't even know why I'm making this video. Here's Taco Cabana. I just want to say that I had nothing to do with this. Nothing to do with this. This is all Jamie's doings. And she was the one that was contacted. She was the one that said, okay, I'm only the guy who's meeting because I was on my way home from getting Lex. Look at this. That's just one piece. That's not the cat, that's the extra kennel. Just follow me all around. I don't know what this is. That's like a cat maze, it looks like. I, I don't know what that is. There's all of the toys, treats, bowls, snacks. There's a scratching post. Hold on, you ain't seen nothing yet. You ain't seen nothing yet. You've not seen, you ain't seen nothing yet. Look at this. Hold on, we're going, this is the back seat. I have it turned around backwards. That's an automatic, an automatic kitty litter cleaner. An automatic kitty litter cleaner. We're going back towards the other side. You're going to meet this cat. Lord, Lester, what is Jamie doing here? This is another container of stuff that belongs to this cat but this is where the cat likes to sleep this is the only place the cat wants to sleep there's a cat bed in there but this is where the cat has always slept his entire life now you ready to meet this cat he's yelling he's yakking at me let me get inside and i will make sure he doesn't jump out here in the parking lot I'm a survivor, donkey and farm animal sanctuary. We offer a forever home to abused, abandoned, and neglected, sometimes surrendered farm animals who are not able to live their best life. But you did hear me correct when I say farm animals, farm animals. So why in the heck? Who are you? Who are, <laughs> where are you going? <laughs> Who are you and where are you going? Get back over here with me. Hey, fuzzy black kitty, come over here. Wow, wow, what a beautiful black kitty. Um, so I will let Jamie tell you the whole story. Oh my gosh, you're not getting out. All your stuff is here. We have all your stuff here. And uh, his name is Aries, Aries. And uh, it, was, it was a tough one. The family had to move the kitty along because they'd gotten him along with all of these accessories and turned out that the nine-year-old is allergic to cats, like highly allergic to where the poor kid is scratching his skin off. And the doctors found out it was from the cat. Um... They recently moved to Texas. They thought it was just the allergens, you know, here in Texas. Nope, it's the cat. So 
now we have a big old black fuzzy cat. And uh, he's going into his cat litter box. Oh. Well, I guess we have. I'm glad. I'm glad I put it in the front, in the front cab with me. Um, let's go ahead and start driving. Funny story is they were having great debate. The um, the family is really into like stars and astrology and planets and all that kind of stuff. And at first they named the cat Uranus. <laughs> I says, Jamie, let's call him Uranus. Let's just call him Uranus or Aries. The dad says they go, he goes by both. He goes by both. <laughs> so, Uranus or Aries. <laughs> oh, hold on, little guy. I'm going to get you home. You know, the sad thing is Dave said that they tried, they looked long and hard, asked every neighbor, people that knew the cat, and no one had any interest. And a lot of people who fall in love with their animals, oh, he's trying to get lovings. A lot of people who fall in love with their animals just cannot see them going off with someone they don't know and they don't trust. So knowing about our page and knowing that some of the kids in the family watch all of the videos that's what prompted them to reach out and I said okay Jamie if you say so all right we have a long drive ahead of us you might want to just get cozy Lester and Uranus <laughs> Lester and Aries driving to Longhorn Lusters. So, I know what you're probably saying. Lester, what will you guys end up doing with that cat? So, if it were up to me, if it were up to me, and only me, I would say our apartment end of the shop is not really big enough or conducive for all of this kind of stuff. This cat has had a very lavish lifestyle and the apartment of Longhorn Lester's is not big enough to accommodate this cat and all of his belongings, all of his possessions. So I would say we should contact Ellie and Megan and say, hey, you guys love cats. Would you like another house cat? This is not a barn cat, y'all. This is not a barn kitty. And uh, this cat is used to living with a family. So it would be unfair to put this cat in the barn dominium. Where even though there's people there, as far as there's always someone around, it's not the kind, the kind of attention that he's going to be used to. Now, some of you may say, what in the world do you need that basket for, Jamie? Why are you holding this basket? And why are you in the bathroom? At Longhorn Lester's. What, what could you be doing in the bathroom? Well, I'm here to tell you that this bathroom has served as many things. And we're not going to talk about the fact that our dirty laundry is laying on the floor right there. We are going to talk about how this sweet boy. Oh, he's really happy. <laughs> I brought you your bed, baby. Has made his way into our lives. And his name is Aries. 
He's really happy to be here. <laughs> I'm so sorry. He's n he's not used to being videoed. I can tell you that. But Mabel has befriended him. He just hasn't befriended her. And um, they're going to be okay. So he was way more chill today. He's a little bit frustrated tonight. I, I get it. This is a brand new space, new people, new smells, new dogs. Um... Mabel's like, can I go play with the dogs again? Yes, you can. I closed the door while I ran outside. And Mabel snuck her way in. And, well, guys. This is a colleague that I work with. Um, who just ran into a circumstance where they had to move this cat along. And there's no way I could see him go into a shelter. And he'll get better. Okay, okay, I just wanted to say hello and tell everybody how handsome you are. Okay, there was a lot today. I'll give him that. I'm going to leave you alone. I know. Lester came in and goes, do you know if this cat comes with a rocket ship? <laughs> he meant the robot litter box, which is really cool and sweet of them to pass on all of his things. It's going to take time. It took Mr. Hank like a week to get used to the change and he's going to be okay. He, Aries let me pet him the whole day today. In fact, he jumped up in my office and was on my desk and loving me. You know, night times are a little bit hectic. We got dogs barking. We got, of course, Mabel's in here right now. It's just things in different space. And um, I'm going to get Mabel out of here and let Aries just adjust and maybe I'll come sit in the room too. Oh, and one more thing. Mabel's going to stay here. Yep. Mabel's going to stay. Mabel ain't leaving. Mabel is home forever. That's right. So, just like that. And then there were three. <laughs>